Morning world, welcome to Wednesday 14th of September and a day of good intentions. So what I mean by good intentions is I intend to get some stuff done today. Um, the problem is, is when I intend to do stuff and I set myself a task, usually I get a phone call or a message or something that scraps it. You know, I've got all these things I want to do and I'm, I want to tell you all these things I want to do, but it's kind of like tempting fate. If I tell you what I'm going to do, Somebody will somebody will stick their boot in or a spanner in the works. So I think what I might do is not tell you now what I intend to do. I'll tell you later on, after I've done it, what I intend to do, and then I can cut that bit and stick it in here somewhere. Shadows might be in a different place. But at least that way, it maybe came true. Maybe? I don't know. Does that work? Anyway, guess what we're doing the first. It's my intention to actually get some shredding done today. I hope. Go on. Go on. On you go. There you go. Um, there's no way I'm going to get through the entire heat today. In fact, I'll be lucky to get through half of it. But half done today is half less to do next time. So these two pipes operate the crane. Um, that's all they do. So the crane operates independently, which is a good thing because if something goes wrong, excuse me, brand flakes. If something goes wrong with the gearbox or uh, the drive on here and the pump doesn't work, I can still move the crane. I can still put the crane away because if the pump or something was to go where the crane was out, that's it, you're stuffed, you're, you, you can't move it. Um, but yeah, working off the hydraulic tractor, that was a good idea. You may be wondering, why is he plugging lights in? Well, there's a reason for that too. Um, there are various electronic switches on here that operate certain valves. They are actually all in there, little connections, and they run off the lighting circuit of the tractor. So that's why I plug the lights in. Right. Okay. PTO on, connected, connected, connected. Let's go. Right, first gear I think, because we're still not what I would call warm. So let's not put the engine under any more strain than we have to. So we'll have a few revs on as well. The last time I reversed it out there, 
this time I think I'll drive out there. So I got to remember I can't turn left very sharp. The platform you stand on to operate the machine comes into very close proximity the left mudguard. We don't want to be breaking that. I like the paint where it is. I think what we're going to do, we're going to start up on the end here so we're kind of out the way a bit. That's a plan. Okay, so lights on. Pichu, uh, no, sorry, must be brush gun. There it is. Hydraulics on. And me brush. These um, spore valves have never really locked very well in drive. So and because the crane can be a little bit jerky with uh, grab and everything else, it, it, it pops out. So I just put the brush in there to, um, to hold it. Into gear. Right, I'm just straightened up a little bit. I like the prop shaft as straight as possible. That's better. Right, check the back, then we'll turn it on. Always worthwhile checking that there's nothing in there that, um, that shouldn't be there. warm up and then we'll crack on. Oh, that's why John is popping out, I'm going to pull back in again. take my time with this today. Um, normally I'd be throwing stuff in here and you know getting the machine up to capacity as fast as I can but yeah at least for the first load we'll just take our time um, keeping the ear and eye out for anything that doesn't sound or look quite right. to push my luck so far everything seems to be working as it should so right I'm gonna go and get the grease gun and give it a bit of lubrication I know I could have uh, greased it before I started but you know what <clears throat> it wasn't ungreased it's not like it's being power washed off or left out in the air, it's been kept under cover, um, there is grease around it and I did kind of think that I was pushing my luck, banging a load of fresh grease on everything before I started it up because if a link had gone again it's just, it's just more to clean up, harder so yeah he's done about 10 minutes work so far 
I'm fairly sure we're okay. So, yeah, we'll give it some grease. I'll take a, I'll take a fresh cartridge because if I don't, I'll run out. And the gun. All right. So, so far, and without trying to push me luck too much, my um, great expectations of stuff I'm going to do today has started yeah, all right. bit more to unjam that one really. So far it's keeping up with everything I put in there so I think we'll just let it chew through that a minute and I'll go and look at starting project number two. And don't worry I'm not going very far. I can keep an eye on project number one from project number two. A lot of you keep saying to me, why don't you spend a bit more time tidying up your yard? Well, I do occasionally. So, and I'm not doing this because you told me to. I'm doing this because I want to. As long as we're clear on that. Project two. Yeah, I know, I started without you, so. Um, when we put all the buildings up and uh, uh, pipe work in for drains and stuff like that, we dug out a lot of stuff which was replaced with stone and, and other stuff, which meant that the first stuff we dug out had to go somewhere. It was a bit wet at the time, so we tipped it in there, which was never meant to be anything more than a temporary measure. Well, um, there is a reasonable chance that I've got a third shipping container coming, and I need somewhere to put it. So the plan is, um, I'm not putting it here. So I need somewhere to park my livestock trailer. So I think what we're going to do is if this third shipping container turns up, <coughs> I'm going to put it in there because it's a nice hard level-ish surface, easy to get to, and I can push it back again. Won't take up that much space in the yard. Um, tidy. And then that can go around the side of there. Also tidy and not under the trees as much so one gets a green. Little trailer, well, he can probably stay where he is, that'd be fine. But while that's over there mixing, there is like half an hour at a time sometimes when I go and fill it up, then I've got half an hour. So I might as well do something else that I can keep an eye on, on, on that with, you know? Take all the boxes. That's the plan anyway. That's the first load cooked, I think. That. I could actually go on and fill that up, but do you know what? I'm not going to push my nut. 
Maneuvering the machine with the PTO on. All right, not so bad when it's empty, but I still just like to run this machine with the PTO straight, with the joints doing little or no work. I just prefer it that way. Sis, a favour to ask me. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, Mother-in-law is hooked on your channel. Silly woman. What do you want to go do that for? <laughs> you want to put a shout out for her? <laughs> oh, a shout out! A shout out for a shout out for my sister's mum. Yeah. No, mother-in-law. Oh, mother-in-law. What's her name? Yeah, Carol Morley. Carol Morley wants a shout out. And can you also put and and from Marjorie as well? <laughs> from or for? Um, well, you see, Carol and Marjorie both love watching you. Mar Marjorie's their next door neighbour, and they've been friends forever. All right, okay. And uh, but Carol, every time I go over there, she's like, "What? Well, is there anything you want to know? Just ask me." Because <laughs> I know it all. All right. Okay. So she's she's hooked on your channel. She thinks you're marvellous. And so I just thought it'd be really funny. She'd be absolutely gobsmacked if she did a if she did a shout out for her. Carol and Marjorie. Yes, please. Okay. All right. I, I think we can probably do that on your behalf, Jen. Oh, thanks, Ian. She'll, she'll be so... I'll make a day, to be fair. Oh, will it? Okay. Yeah, it will. All right. We can do that. All right, then. I will speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Okay. Take right. care. Bye. Bye, Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Now, I, I don't do shout-outs on my channel, so I could leave it that... I haven't actually done it because my sister's already done it for you, but Carol, Morley, and Marjorie, your neighbour. I'm glad you know, I'm glad you're keeping my sister abreast of what I'm up to. So but I don't tell you everything. <laughs>
I still have only chewed up the last load of put in there, so I can crack on for a minute. Change your mind, all I'm trying to do 